Hello everyone and welcome to the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist and let's see what happened in the world of tech in Korea for the third week of September. First up, KUAM Dream Team launching drone taxi in Jeju in 2025. Hanwha Systems formed the KUAM Dream Team Consortium with Korea Airports Corporation and SK Telecom and will provide Korea's first commercial UAM service in Jeju-do by 2025. They will develop a pilot service connecting Jeju International Airport and major tourist attractions and build vertiports or vertical takeoff and landing sites and a UAM traffic management system. The consortium will verify safety through the Government Demonstration Project KUAM Grand Challenge first and second stages, and at the same time, build ground infrastructure such as vertiports to start UAM services in Jeju-do by 2025. They plan to start a pilot project and develop it as a basis for complex urban UAM operations by incorporating future technologies. And for our second big story of the week, Gyeonggi CCEI is selected as Seed Tips hosted by Ministry of SMEs and Startups. The Gyeonggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation was selected as a consortium organization of Seed Tips, a private business-led preliminary startup support program hosted by the Ministry of SMEs and Startups. Seed Tips is a pilot project conducted by the Ministry of SMEs and Startups that started this year. It discovers promising technology startup teams through private investment companies and after incubating within six months, executes seed investment for excellent companies. The purpose of this process is to foster early stage startups and increase the success rate of technology entrepreneurship. For our next big story of this week, Nexon's Dungeon Fighter Online releases custom bike with Super 73 from the United States. Nexon Corporation introduced the Dungeon Fighter Online custom bike in collaboration with the American electric motorbike brand Super 73. Super 73 is a retro style mini bike brand that reinterprets the mini bike of the 1970s in a modern way by combining the convenience of a bicycle with the ruggedness of a motorcycle. This bike is a game intellectual property collaboration project that was first unveiled by Super 73 and only two models will be sold in the customized version of S2. The limited edition was designed in two colors, red and metallic, a call out to the Dungeon Fighter Online logo. And for our final story, Korea Deep Learning selected for AI Learning Data Construction Project. Korea Deep Learning announced that the company was finally selected for the 2022 AI Learning Data Construction Project and plans to construct the world's first ink painting data. Kim Ji Hyun, CEO of Deep Learning Korea, said, We plan to process various expression techniques of ink painting into data in a form that is easy for AI models to use. She added, the ultimate goal of this project is to navigate the direction of ink painting education by using AI technology and to raise the awareness and understanding of traditional art. And before we go into our brief news of the week, there is an update. We have someone from the Unge An province Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, Bui Din Long, who has visited Pangyo Techno Valley. And that is all the information we have right now because he is literally doing a tour around the area at this exact moment. If you want more information, you can check it out online. And now it's time to look at our news briefs of the week. Cacao and Cacao Healthcare unveil breathing exercise service to help people overcome the lasting symptoms post COVID. Under the slogan that reads, despite COVID-19, breathe well and rest well, this service is designed to provide people with a breathing guide to recover from the after effects of the virus, such as coughing, mucus, and fatigue. 
This service consists of four different exercises to mitigate coughing and mucus buildup and fight fatigue. The company referred to the guidelines of the after effects of COVID-19 on the PASC dashboard from the AAPM&R, or the American Academy of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, when developing the exercise activities. In addition, medical advice and supervision from Kangwon National University Hospital made this service all the more reliable. Second in our news briefs, Pixel Play enters into an agreement with a blockchain platform, Polygon. Pixel Play entered into a marketing agreement with Polygon, an Ethereum expansion platform that supports Web3 onboarding and will develop its P2E game, Pixel Battle, based on the Polygon network. Pak Jin Bae, CEO of Pixel Play, said, Polygon's technological innovation and game-friendly policies will create synergy effects to become the best partner in the Pixel Battle services that our company has developed. And for our final story of the day, Naver Z joins Tech Coalition, an alliance of global tech organizations. Naver Z decided to join Tech Coalition, which aims to combat online sexual abuse and the exploitation of children. With Naver Z joining this alliance, the company expects close cooperation with international IT corporations. Naver Z will introduce new technologies to detect and prevent the sexual exploitation of children and create an environment where all minors use Geppetto safely. And that's it for the Pangeo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I will see you next week.